All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. Now, this video is about Google software on the Pixel Fold. I want to start this video by saying, if you're a Samsung fan, you're probably going to be a little salty, but I'm a real OG for Samsung, so take it for what it is. A lot of you Samsung guys are hypocrites. I remember when this aspect ratio came out, you guys said it was trash. You guys complained about having two narrow displays like this. And then as soon as Google releases this one and then you go into like a dual screen mode like let's just say i open up this game here i'm gonna close out everything um as soon as google does this right here okay this is the aspect ratio okay remember in my first video i said you know you need to turn it like this to get the full experience then you can do this right here this restart all you samsung all you fake samsung a loyalist out there came out and said oh that's trash you guys are now also saying that the front display on the samsung is better listen folks it doesn't i, I <laughs> this isn't this this might sound like a rant i guess it could kind of be but i think you guys need to be consistent now from the day one i have always said that i love this aspect ratio because i like 21 by 9 and nearly everyone who uses the fold lineup says that this aspect ratio is trash. So I, I humbly ask you guys, why don't you just keep it 100? Say that the Pixel Fold did it right the first time. Just say it. Say that the Pixel Fold did it right the first time because they did. Having to do something like that. And furthermore, in my first video, I said, hey, you know what? I forgot to even open this thing up. That's because that's because Google did it right the first time. Google did it right the first time. Samsung may have been they may have been the one with all the foldables. And don't get it twisted. I love this device. Pen support. But like I said, a lot of you guys complain about the pen support. Oh, it does there's so many complaints about this phone right here. It's incredible. And that's why I start this radio video off preference and saying you guys are hypocrites. Just see, see it for what it is. I've used this on everything. I even used it on this device and I gave you options saying, hey, you know, you should just try something like this. It's cost a dollar a dollar. And you're oh no, that's trash, Jay. I want the other pen to work on the front screen. Now all of a sudden, every time and it seems like every time Google does something, everybody tends to bring not everybody, but those fake tech enthusiasts seem to jump out of the way worse and they hit that keyboard and they come in strong. But you know what? I invite you to keep coming because everything you say is always going to be a counter for it. Like for real, to say that it's kind of weird because because check this out. Let me let me fire this up. Let me just go ahead and do this now because my previous video, I said that this was the, the better folding design. So when you do this right here, it instantly jumps over there because I'm, I'm thinking Google's probably saying, yeah, go ahead and put two screens on there. This is the this is perfect, just like the Microsoft Surface. You have people in the comment section saying, um, and before you guys guys are talking about, oh, Jay, you're too sensitive. No, 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 no. If we were sitting at a round table, which I have most of the time, most of this time I've been doing YouTube, I've sat in many debates and face to face with companies and talked to them about their design and what they should and shouldn't do. Most of the people you watching, you have not. So again, I preference that by saying stay in your lane. If you're going to praise this device now that something actually hot has come out to combat the US, because see, that's what it is. Samsung people are afraid that when the pix when the Google, when the uh, five version of this, this Samsung comes out, you're afraid it's not going to be enough. Just call it like it is. Say it for what it is. That's what you're afraid of. You're afraid that it is not going, it is going to be the same thing. And it's not going to be any improvements right now. The chatter right here is, oh, it's got, but it's got pen support. It has its own stylus. It has its own, all this other stuff right here. And I think it's hilarious at best that now the Samsung people want to start talking about how great the, the Z Fold is. I've always said that this was a creator's device. My thoughts on the Samsung Fold have not changed. That's, that's not what this is about. It's the fact that one little sidestep with Google software and everybody starts to say, oh, uh, you know, the Fold is the best device. The Fold is the best device. So I'm going to put this same setup right here on the Fold. And I just, I just was proving my point. Just proving my point. That's all it is. It's, it's, it's a point to be proven here. Let's so get this swipe up. Oh. Let me see here. This is the same thing, bro. 
Are you telling me you like the Samsung version better? You guys need to stop it, son. You need to stop this nonsense and just flat out blatantly hating on Google for everything they do. It's, it's a shame that this is where we are in the tech community. Listen, I invite competition. All you clowns, all you guys who get in the comments and bark off a bunch of stuff, if you br I've always said it, nothing has changed about this channel, so I'm gonna tell you, if you're bringing value to the table, I'm willing to listen. But if you're just in there hollering about Samsung's better, Samsung's the king, Samsung, listen, there are a ton of things on the software front that this phone has. But how much it is of it is very, very useful in comparison, meaning you can do the same thing on other foldables. And I think I said in the other video, this isn't the first piece of hardware like this. This is solid hardware, but I gave credits to where it's due. Some of you guys say you need to uh, review imports. You need to go check the channel, son, because I've been doing imports for, for years and I've stated it plainly. I choose not to do current current foldables because I was waiting on this one. But give credit where it's due. The imports are always going to have probably some premium hardware. Software, uh, it's questionable whether you like it or not. I actually like Xiaomi software. So it, it's, it's about what you like, really. But for all you guys out there hollering about, oh, yeah, no, the Fold 4 looks better. You need to cut that nonsense out, son. Let's rewind the tape here. And I remember all of you guys saying, oh, you know, I, just, I don't really like yeah, that, that's too narrow. Samsung needs to fix this. And I think what it is is reality setting in that you guys know that it, you can't, it's not, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. It is not going to, the, the five that's coming out is going to be the same thing, folks. And you know it. I, now, uh, some other things I pointed out was using it like this. I say, you know, using it like this, it's a, it's a lot more pleasing to the eye uh, with, with, with the Pixel Fold because it ha technically has the, the better ratio. Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay. Listen, I'm tell, it's, it's kind of crazy how you guys flip-flop. And I'm talking to the real supposedly tech enthusiasts. When I dropped that video saying this was the better aspect ratio in order for Samsung to cap and match, it needs to be like this. You guys went crazy. You guys went crazy, but I think it's silly. You should be listening here. That I'm trying to bring some real value and honesty to the to, to, to your ears because I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. Just keep it a keep it a hundred, bro. This is the much better screen. You guys are like when you thought. When you thought that the full five was going to be shorter and wider, you guys were praising it. You were saying, oh my God, I can't, I can't wait, I can't wait. And now that some of the leaks have come out that it's pretty much going to be the same thing, now Google drops their fire device because this is fire. You, get, you cannot hate on it like you want to. You can keep on coming all you want to, but... The real G's with Google is going to come at you, and I'm telling you, you're going to lose. You can holler about pen support and longevity, the better software. Samsung does not have the better software. They have the better skin, because what is their software based off of? Android. They were afraid to take the jump to Tizen, remember? Pause for dramatic effect. Yeah, remember that? They were afraid. Google soft without Google, you don't have anything. Samsung is one of the few companies, though, that could release Tizen, but they're scared. They don't want to because they know they'll lose a lot of consumers and you need Google. So somebody said, oh, it's a Google, it's a Samsung screen, Samsung processor, Samsung. I hear you, rat. I hear you, bro. But it's not a pixel if it's not a pixel. And this is a pixel. I don't care what's under the skin. Everybody trades with everybody. Sony cameras in everybody's device, all this kind of stuff. It only matters when it's Google, it appears. So yeah, I guess this is kind of a rant because it was triggered. I was triggered. <laughs> I was triggered by some of these comments like, yo, I got to put this out there because I think it's a bunch of frauds out there. Like now all of a sudden the, the pixel fold aspect ratio is garbage. Listen, you you Samsung people out there, the so-called Samsung nice and all that junk right there. Like I started off saying, I'm an OG Samsung nice, and we don't roll like that. We keep it a buck all the way, and we kick it to you like what it is. The Samsung Z Fold 4 is a hot device. However, however, it is not going down like what you think. You guys were begging for a different aspect ratio, and just because Samsung didn't do it, now all of a sudden it's trash. Now what you gonna do when Samsung brings out this ratio, and then it's the same thing with the software. You know what I mean, I know Samsung has labs, but Samsung, when it happened on Samsung, Samsung baked labs into their, their software. You guys were excited. It's the same thing. 
every phone software has to adjust to the aspect ratio. So when I hear and see all this chatter about, oh, the fold is better, the fold is better, fold for life. You guys, let me tell you, you guys are hypocrites, man. I've been, I've been one of the few online that verbally stated, and I'm not, listen, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, face-to-face, -face, phone call, we can chop it up. I love to talk about stuff like this because I have a passion for tech for real, and I'm not biased in any kind of way. N not at all. I, I call this phone the king until something comes out, and the king is about to get knocked down because, honestly... The Fold 5, and you know what? Okay, I'll go ahead and buy the Fold 5. I had no one's intentions on buying the Fold 5. None. But I can't wait to show you the cameras on this phone. Now, we all know that Samsung has some phenomenal cameras. They have, not, listen, we're not taken away from what Samsung has created. Samsung started with the Note line. They've carved a way for other OEMs to really take notes. They have. But you cannot stay at the top forever. That's just a fact, son. You, you can't do it. So all these so-called tech enthusiasts out there that's pushing the, oh, the fold is better, the fold is better. Where were you when the fold, everybody was clowning this for the, having a weird aspect ratio? And some of us were like, I love this aspect ratio. Remember when you was calling it a remote, a TV remote? Remember all that stuff? Yeah, I remember all that stuff. I remember all of it. And I just stood firm on it. Like, you know, I like this design. I like this style. But I think all the current Samsung, now I don't, I can't speak. For everybody that's typing in this comment section. Word. That's what I'm saying. I can't speak for all of you cats. But you see it. I see it. There's a bunch of frauds out there. Every time Google drops a fire device. Google dropped this device right here. Oh, I'd rather have an iPad. What did I do? I told you. I said, you know, the iPad is fire, man. The iPad is revolutionized. It, it helped take the, the tablet game to the, to the, to the right. So it, it, it did it right. But you cannot, as I lock it back on the dock quick flex that's that's fire right there you cannot deny this man i don't care if there's not a bunch of android devices out there to compete with apple this the samsung ultra tablet is fire now google brought their joint out with the perfect size and it's got a dock you cannot hate on that you got phones like the 7 the 7a is shutting down tons of phones for value samsung and like i said i'm an original samsung g because I got every Samsung they ever dropped, just about. Probably all of them. You guys need to stop this nonsense about Samsung being a better device. You're hating. That's all it is. You're hating on the price, too. Oh, you know, Google dropped it at 800 Let me tell you something. Who did it better on the first gen? Samsung wanted $2,000. And it doesn't matter that you got a, 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 you got a, a earbuds or something with it. It does not matter. That Fold 1 was trash. And it took Samsung four iterations to really get it perfect for me to really start to love it. Now, check the channel. I, I got the two. I got the one on review. I hated it. It was trash, really. I got the two, the three, and the four. The four is, they, is the best that they've ever done. But are they really going to capitalize on this? They were spooked, too. Let's keep it for what it is. They were spooked. They were spooked because they saw this coming. Somebody in their PR team said, oh, man. Google about to drop that fire on us. Let's change the color of our device. Because I can guarantee you Sam's going to run that game. And, 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 and if they have a blue one, I'll buy the blue one. I'll drop it like that. I mean, I'm just saying, we know what's coming with Samsung. We knew what was coming with them, with Google, but we didn't know what was coming with them. You understand what I'm saying? So, a message to the Samsung haters. Stay in the comments, because that's the only thing y'all got, man. Y'all don't have no proof of nothing. I got the devices. And I'm telling you, they did it perfect for the first gen. This is why Apple, and, and let's just go ahead and keep it a buck. A lot of people say Apple's um, not going to drop a foldable. Apple's not going to drop a foldable. And if they drop it, it's going to be 2500 If it's going to be 2500 I'm going a, I'm to a drop. I'm going to get it. It is what it is. I tell people, if you really in, if you really doing that tech thing, son, you're excited. You only can harp on the price for so long. I told you, I said, listen. I'm not amped about this being 1800 bucks. That's not a flex right there. That's money I throw on the stock market if I'm keeping it 100. Listen, this costs 1800 bucks before taxes for me, $1,947.68. Like you think I'm proud of that? Nah, son. That's not a flex. That is not a flex. That's me saying I don't like the price. I don't like the price of any of this stuff. That is why I promote phones like the 7A. The 6A, 
the 5A, which are great. The iPhone SE is another one. The iPhone Mini, those are all great phones, but some of them, are, those iPhones are kind of, the price is like, man, you know what I'm saying? But Samsung, on the other hand, they have a lineup, but they're just not matching Google for price in a lot of areas. This is the first time Google dropped a device that's really high in price, and everybody flipped the lid. But is this really worth it? Yes. Yes, son. When you compare what you're getting here on the foldable market in the U.S., this is the better purchase if you're going to spend 1800 bucks. Like, for real, for real. How much did this cost? Now, is it flawless? Nah, son. It ain't flawless. I should have had a 512 gig with this 1800 bucks, And I don't like the price. But if you're going to make me choose between this and, and the 5 I'm going with this. It's the better ratio for day-to-day -day use. Smaller, premium hardware. Oh, Jay, it don't flow. It don't fold flat. That's what people are saying. It don't fold flat. But you same hypocrites complained about the gap. What's up? Come on, man. Y'all need to stop this. Y'all need to stop this nonsense. <laughs> I think it's comical at best. Oh, Jay, it's got those big old bezels. Those bezels, though. Come on, man. Y'all, y'all. <laughs> Y'all cats look silly and you're in the comments. Here's what I recommend. I recommend me not the only one having the voice here. Any creator out there right now, any regular Joe, hit your YouTube channel and put yourself out there like we do and speak what you got to say and link that video in my comment section and I'll let it blast. Because you ain't got much, I'm telling you. you. You think that you blasting Google with this? Let me tell you something. This is the better choice for it for 1800 bucks. I don't care about pen support and all that other stuff because I always give alternatives to you. How often are you going to use pen support? And the speakers on here, ooh, we, we haven't even gotten into that yet, son. We haven't even got, ooh, my, oh my goodness. If you have a Pixel Fold, you already know what I'm talking about. I saw a cat comparing the screen brightness on the Pixel Fold on the inner display, on the inner display to an iPhone 14 Pro Max. Like, bro, are you serious? The iPhone... 14 Pro Max is a different class and it has like 2,000 nits and it don't do as much. It don't offer as much. Come on, stop this. Y'all guys need to stop this nonsense, man. This did, I'm triggered. Yeah, I'm triggered, son. Yeah, it, 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 I'm starting my day off like this, but I'm in a good mood because I got a sip of that coffee. Mm. You'd be happy to know that I cut my coffee down to once a week. Got to stay healthy. But I'm telling you, son, you guys out there in the comment section, you take it for what it's worth. You say you're a real Samsung G, you're not coming with all that nonsense. You're seeing competition for what it is because in the end, when you keep siding with the OEM, we lose as a consumer. Did you not know this? We lose when you fight and side with the consumer and we fight, Republican, Democrat, come on, grow up, man. Listen, stop fighting each other. And stop fighting progress. This is progress. So while you bragging about the four being better, this is the fourth version of pretty much the same type of device. They haven't improved much on anything. Oh, they changed the camera bus. I had a cast say, well, Google needs to do something about that big old camera bump. What the frick? You guys complained about Samsung's camera bumps ev all, every year. Like, keep it 100, man. Stop flexing in the comments like you dropping some knowledge or something like that. Stop it, son. You look crazy. And like I said, post your video on your channel. Let me hear what you got to say. Bring some value to the conversation. Bring some truth, some real knowledge. Because if you over here on this channel, you know that I'm a real Samsung G. I don't need no Samsung night titles and all that junk right there to make me whole sucker. I dropped that sucker on. I'll show my age right there. Jive sucker. I, I did that thing. <laughs> I did that thing. I <laughs> I did that thing. Okay, I dropped my age a little bit. Jive sucker. But listen. Drop your link in my video of you. Give me your thoughts. I don't want to hear nobody else's thoughts. All you cats keep them on the screen. And you you going by what somebody else said. You don't even have it. All these people out there with these fake comments like, oh, I bought it. Had to return it. I seen videos of some people. I ain't going to I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't flex on them. But it's nonsense with these clickbait titles talking about, here's why I'm returning it. And then you're not really returning it. Come on, son. Kick the truth about it. This device has only been out for five days and it's already getting rave reviews and people are loving it. Samsung's already shown us their hand. They have. Everything leaks. Google's, we saw Google's hand too. But now that it's here and there's real competition in the U.S., 
Don't hate on the progress. I love this device like you do. I'm a G with this Samsung stuff. I'm telling you, I love it. Really though, don't fight the progress. Give props where it's due. We gave Samsung their props. Give Google their props too. Now I want to see them comments, man. What's up? Go get it.